Hi everyone, this is part two of our fundamentals class. We're going to be continuing now on our backs. So let's lie, come to lie on your back. So you can have something underneath the back of the head if you feel you need to, but otherwise just come to lie on a mat or on the carpet at home. Okay, and just allow your legs to be bent, coming into your neutral position. So just letting yourself settle down here, feeling the contact of the shoulders against the against the floor, against the mat. Just letting everything settle here for a little bit. Feeling just the contact of your body on the floor. Relaxing into any areas of holding. So just feeling into your belly. See if you can soften your tummy. Notice where your natural breath is. And see if you can allow your breath to come down a little bit deeper. So let's work on some nice deeper breaths. So I want you to think about as you inhale, breathing in all the way down into the lower belly. And then exhaling from this place all the way out. So try a few more. Let's inhale nice and deep. Filling the lungs, filling all the way into the belly, hold it here, and then exhale, all the way out. Two more times. Inhaling, hold at the top, exhaling fully. Hold here and exhale all the way down. Well done. When you're ready, release the arms down by your side. We're going to come into a hip twist exercise. So we're going to float the right leg up into tabletop position, checking as we do this now that our, our, um, our low back and pelvis are in neutral. So think about a little, um, you're balancing something on the, on the lower tummy. The gear is going to stay nice and steady. And we're just going to open the right leg a few times out to the right side. So as you open that leg out, what you're looking for is nice control on the left leg. So you're not letting anything roll on the left side. And you're also thinking about this the straight line between your, between your fingers up here, the tops of the hip bones. Nothing happening here. Keep breathing. Two more. Well done. Release the leg. Come back. Relax the little feet. Tilt the squat backwards and forward. Let's float the left leg up. Breathe in here. And then slowly opening out to the side with the left leg. So look for that control. Making sure that you're able to isolate the movement of the left leg as it opens out to the side. And noticing for gripping, is there any parts of your body kind of tending to hold on? So check in with your area around your face. Is your face relaxed? Are you still able to breathe in and out? See if you can breathe down into the abdomen. Well done, one more movement here, and then release the left leg down. Good, okay. From here, let's come into our one leg stretch exercise. Different options for this. So if we're working on level two, we're going to extend our leg out, bringing it back, and then lowering it to the floor. Opposite leg as we extend, bring it back, and lower, okay. So working on this. So the movement is staying kind of nice and slow and smooth. Think about the hip points again, staying steady. Are you able to completely isolate the movement of one leg? And if you're comfortable with level two, and you want to take it up to level three, you're going to float one leg at a time into tabletop, double tabletop. When you're in this position, making sure that your low back isn't arching. 
So you want to make sure that everything's a, a gap going at the small of your back. See if you can roll your tailbones slightly down, okay? So feeling the abdominal muscles a little bit more engaged here now. And then you want to extend one leg away from you at the, uh, one time. So you're just alternating the legs like this. Breathe in. As you extend the leg, you don't want to lose the control in the small of your back. So checking in with that. Checking with what's happening. Keep breathing in through the exercise. That's the most important thing. If at any time you need to come from here, you're getting tired and you need to come back to the last exercise, that's totally fine. Okay? You decide what level you're working at here. Level two. So you're alternating one leg at a time or level three. Either way, we're going to take it five more moves wherever you're at. Nice. Okay, once you've done your five, you're going to draw your knees in towards your chest, hug the knees in, and maybe draw your head up towards your knees and a little rock from side to side. See how you feel, maybe lower the head. Just release out your low back. And let everything just relax. Let everything settle down again. So one more breath here in this position, taking a nice little stretch. And then when you're ready, relaxing back down onto the floor once more. We're going to come into our scissors exercise. Different options for this. I'm going to take you into level. Well, I'll show you level two, and then we'll, I'll, I'll show you modifications. Okay? If you're fine with your double tabletop, you're going to again take one leg at a time into your double tabletop, and then from here, tapping the toes with one leg, keeping the control again in the lower back. And if you feel you can comfortably do this and you want to make it a bit harder, try lowering the heel instead. So take you a little bit further. You're going to lower your heel and lower your opposite heel. And see how that goes, okay? Keeping always, as I say, that sense of control down here. So you're not letting your low back arch. If, you're, if you have any discomfort or pain with that, let's stick with level one. So you're just floating one leg at a time into tabletop. Well done. Good work. So wherever you're at, again, let's go for five more moves. Nice, and once more release. Draw the knees into the chest and release back down. Coming into our active press, so you're going to just slide your hands, lift your hands a little bit up away from the mat. Check in with your breathing. And as we exhale, you're going to lift your head and then lift, continue to lift through the, through the chest, through the upper body, gazing up over the knees. So you're coming up into a little mini sit up here, breathing here. And as you lower all the way down, you're going to come down, and then we're going to lift from here into a shoulder bridge. Pressing your hands down, lifting the hips up high, and then rolling all the way down. And we're going to move between those two movements, okay? So lifting, lifting the head, lifting the chest, checking again that it's like the tummy nice and steady here, you're not doming, the muscles aren't coming forward to the front. If they are, you need to modify it. Maybe supporting your hands with your head um, or not lifting up so high or leaving this bit out of the exercise. Lifting up into your bridge, pressing into the heels. Breathe and then release all the way down. So a few more movements like this. Remember not to go into symptoms, not to go into any pain. See how it feels for your body, lifting into your bridge. Well done. So 
do one more. Now we jump the body for each part. So lifting again, lifting the head, lifting the arms, breathing here, lowering to the floor, and then lifting up into your bridge. This time you're going to stay in your bridge. We're going to add in some arm raises. So alternate arms, so lifting the left arm, lifting the right arm. As we hold your bridge. So see how this feels, working out the endurance a little bit. Keep the feet pressing down. Breath stay smooth. If at any time you need to come down, you lower the hip. Now we're pushing into the elephant in your body and you feel ready for. Let's go for three, two, one, and then coming all the way down. Well done. So knees to the chest once more. Take a little roll about through your lower back. We'll be feeling the contact, releasing and massaging into your lower back. And then from here, we're going to come into a nice stretch. Let's draw, hug the right knee towards your chest and then extend your left leg out long. So extending the, toe, the, the left leg out, down as you draw your right knee into your chest. Breathe here. Extend, taking your fingertips behind your right leg. Extending your right leg upwards towards the ceiling, drawing the toes back, feeling it now into your hamstring. Take a breath, relaxing, releasing into the back of the right leg. And then slowly releasing your right leg down, and let's draw left leg towards the chest. Hugging your left knee in. As you extend your right leg down, you extend your heel in towards the floor, feeling into that hip stretch. One more breath. And then interlace the hands behind, extending the leg up into your hamstring and calf stretch, draw the toes back. Breathe here. And then when you're ready, lowering all the way down, we're going to make our way into our double leg stretch exercise now on our, on, in this position. So for this, we're going to be working with arms and legs. Again, we have different levels, so I'm going to take you to level two first. You're going to take your right leg into tabletop, extending your right arms out in front of your shoulders. And then as, you're ex as you extend your leg out, your arms come overhead. And then you circle the arms as you draw the knee back into position again. So you're going to move like this. So extending the arms, extending the leg, and circle together. As you're moving the arms and the legs, what you want to get a sense of is not letting your ribs and pelvis move away from each other. So you're keeping, keeping everything nice and steady. You're feeling those abdominals gently working here. You're not letting your... Um, your ribs lift towards the ceiling. Try to keep the, the lower ribs soft. Well done. If you're comfortable with that, you can take it up into level three, the next level up. So you're going to be floating the legs up into double tabletop, extending the arms, and then even let's try extending one arm as you extend one leg. So you can work into your double tabletop if that feels good for you. So equally, it's totally fine if you want to work at your single tabletop, which is the one leg down. If you've, if you've been working on a single tabletop, release the right leg, float the left leg up, and let's work on this leg now. Keep the neck nice and long. So notice that the shoulders are going to sometimes rise up. So keep Keep that sense of length between the shoulders and the ears. And again, if you're up with your, if you're up in double tabletop and you're adding arms and legs together. 
each other. At any time we need to, you, you lower down, you take a break, have a little pause, and then you maybe go for one more round, okay? So wherever you're at, I want you to just take, let's take a few more moves together. Concentrate on softening the breath. Good. So really, it's a nice one because you're really, you feel, really feel abdominals working and arms and legs together. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Knees into the chest. And breathe. We're going to take a rotation stretch before we change position. So I'm going to take the arms out nice and wide. I'm going to shift a little bit on my mat so that I've got space for my arms. Drawing both knees up, breathing in. And as we exhale, we're going to roll the knees to the left as you turn your head to the right. Now you can play with this. You can draw your knees a little bit higher up towards your arms. You might even want to raise your right hand a little bit higher up over your head. Lots of different ways of... Um, working on our spinal twist. So as long as it feels good for your body, as long as you can relax into the position, there's no pain, nothing sharp. Just stay where you are and breathe. Really letting go on each exhale. One more deep breath. And then slowly, head to center, walking the knees and feet back to the middle. And then we're going to take it to the opposite side, breathing in and then exhaling, rolling those knees over, turning your head, maybe walking your knees a little bit closer towards your right arm, or maybe taking the left hand a little bit higher. Either way, staying here for your breath. Good. Nice, slow, deep breath. And then slowly back to the middle. We're going to just finish with our deep stretch. So we're going to cross right leg over left leg. And we're going to draw the knees in towards the chest. And interlace the hands behind the left leg. Pressing your left foot. Imagine that you're pressing it into a ball. And you're, as you draw that leg in, you'll feel this stretch in the right buttock. Okay? So you can play around with it again. The different ways of positioning the foot. But as long as you feel comfortable with this, there's no pain. If you're not feeling any stretch, you can try rolling a little bit. So see what happens if you roll your hips a little bit from side to side. Do you find any point of kind of stretch? If I roll a little bit to the left, I really feel it intensify that stretch on the right. If you can try staying here, relax the breath, relax your face. One more inhale. And then slowly making your way down, opposite side. So left leg over right. And then interlacing the hands underneath that right leg. Extending your right foot upwards or bring your toes back. Again, playing around with this position, a little rock from side to side maybe. And then drawing your knee in close so that you feel the stretch around that left buttock. And then wherever you are, see if you can stay for a few breaths, really breathing into the stretch. Lovely, releasing down. And then just let your legs, we're going to keep them bent, but I'm going to just encourage you to let your knees fall together. 
Let your hands rest on your belly. And we're just going to finish the last couple of minutes with a little bit of just relaxation, just letting everything settle after, after all that exercise. So see if you can allow your eyes to close. And just bring your attention now just into the sensations in your body. And you're letting go now of all effort. So there's no sense of doing. Or needing things to be any particular way. Just relaxing here into this, into this moment. the area at the back of the eyes soften and at the back of the mouth and throat feeling the area around the chest and shoulders relaxing letting go and then down into your belly You soften all the way down to your abdominals, your pelvic region, letting everything be soft. Taking another couple of breaths here now. Feeling a sense of ease, a sense of rest in the body. And then we're going to finish by extending the legs. Extending the arms overhead, stretching away with the fingertips, stretching away with the toes. Breathe in and then exhaling as you roll onto your side, making your way up into sitting. Good. And we'll leave it at that. So thank you all. Enjoyed the class.